Nobel Prize winning physicist Richard Feynman used to differentiate with a very different method that is not commonly taught in calculus classes. Let's try and differentiate this horrible expression. I'm going to show you this technique. First thing that we need to do is rewrite the entire expression. However, after each summand, we're going to place a bracket. I'm going to place my bracket here. First thing that goes into this bracket is the power of our expression. In this case, we'll be looking at 1 plus 2t squared. The power of this is just 1, so I'm going to place a 1. In the denominator, I'm going to place the original expression, which is 1 plus 2t squared. And then at the top, I'm going to place the derivative of this, which in this case will just be equal to 4 times t. And now I'm going to repeat this step for each of the individual individual parts of this expression, summing them all up. So for the next one, the power is 2. I'm going to divide by the original expression, which is t cubed take away t. And then I'm going to multiply by its derivative, which is just going to be equal to 3t squared take away 1. Now for the next one we're going to have a negative power because we're dividing by the square root of an expression, so my power will be equal to negative a half. Once again I'm going to divide by the original expression which is just equal to t plus 5t squared. And at the top here I'm just going to place its derivative which will just be equal to 1 plus 10t. Okay, one more, which is 40 raised to this power, so it's going to be take away 3 halves. That's the power we divide by the original expression, which is 4t, and then we differentiate that and place that on the top, which is just equal to 4. And now we can close the bracket and we've differentiated the first part of our expression. So I'm just going to copy down the second part of this. <laughs> And I'm going to repeat exactly the same procedure, opening up some brackets, and the power of the first expression will just be equal to a half, so a half will go there, and then we have the original expression, which is 1 plus 2t. Differentiating that, we're just going to get a factor of 2. Two. For the next one, we're going to have a power of minus 1. Then we're going to be dividing by the original this expression, which is just going to be t plus the square root of 1 plus t squared. The derivative of the denominator will just be a sum, which will be equal to 1 plus. And then the derivative of the square root of 1 plus t squared is just going to be equal to t divided by the square root of 1 plus t squared then we can close the brackets. And we have successfully managed to differentiate this entire long expression in just a couple of minutes following one really simple rule. I'm really curious, have you ever come across this rule before? Let me know in the comments below. If you have found this rule useful, you will surely find Feynman's tip on learning physics and mathematics, and this video is right over here.